I'm going to highlight sewing the elastic ear loops onto the mask. First, I'll show you how to do it with the pleats pinned in place, and then I'll show you how to do it without pinning the pleats with the chain stitch method. Both of these methods will result in the same product with the elastic correctly placed and securely sewn on. First of all, it's important that you shorten the stitch length on your machine. Um, on my machine, that's a 2.0 stitch length. We wanna make sure that the stitch is short enough that it securely stitches into that elastic. You can see that I have a mask here prepared with the pleats already pinned. You can see that my pins are far enough away from the edge that I don't have to sew over them. I take my elastic, I measure one inch from the edge, and I insert that into the middle of the mask at a diagonal. Then I'm gonna stitch a quarter of an inch away from the edge of my mask, but on the inside of my notches. Stitch over my elastic, back stitch, and then down. Make sure that I have my elastic straight, and I'm gonna insert one inch of it into the bottom of my mask. Back stitch all the way over, and then I'll turn my mask. I'm starting from the bottom of my mask now. Insert my one inch. Stitch over the elastic, back stitch. My pleats will be facing down this time, so it's a little bit different on the other than the other side. Stitch over your pleats. Make sure your elastic is straight and insert it into the middle of the mask at an angle. Back stitch over your, all the way over your elastic and your mask is done. Now I'll show you how to do it without pinning. Make sure that the top part of your mask, the fold line is finger pressed nicely. Take your elastic Put it at an angle, back stitch. Then I'm going to do what they call pinch and pleat. This is pleat or notch one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I'm going to pinch number one and bring it down to number three. Stitch along the side. Do the same with number four to meet number six, get my elastic, put it at the bottom of my mask, back stitch over it, and then stitch down. I'm gonna go on to do the same thing with my next mask. Stitch my elastic in, back stitch, pleat, one, down to three, stitch four, down to, ooh, that's only five, six. Get my elastic. Stick it in at the bottom of my mask. Back stitch all the way over. And I'm gonna just turn it and do the same thing for the other side. Insert my elastic. One inch. Back stitch. This pleat is actually a little bit easier because you've already got your pleat on the other side, so it's halfway done. You want to line it up and then just make sure that it lays nice and straight. Same thing on the next one. Put your elastic in at an angle. Back stitch. And then fold your pleats down.
back stitch over your elastic and your masks are done. Thank you so much for your service in this absolutely fantastic project. We sure appreciate you.